Welcome back for part three of the ultimate duck boat build. Today is not a building day. We have uh, officially got everything that came in the box put together and the boat's ready to go. And I'm just super eager to put it on the water. I wanna see how it paddles. I wanna see how like the profile is on the water when it floats. So today we're gonna do a quick little video taking the new Momarsh out onto the lake. In the future, we're gonna be actually putting a motor on the boat, but we're gonna see the paddling capabilities today because there's gonna be areas where I can't use a motor, but I'm gonna to wanna to take the Momarsh with me. So we're gonna see what it's like paddling today, see if we wanna paddle it or if we're gonna invest in a push pole later on down the road. But before we get too far into this, make sure to drop a comment down below of things that you would like to see done on this Momarsh if you had bought it. Different modifications like lights, or uh, maybe some other things. I don't wanna give you guys any ideas because I've got ideas myself, but I don't wanna sway your decision on what you comment down below. So if you bought this Momarsh, what else would you add on to it to make the ultimate duck hunting rig? Okay, so we've got the boat here. I'm not entirely sure if I wanna load it front side in first or back side in first. I almost think in the future it will be easier to load it going front side in first. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're also going to get to see how much of a pain this is going to be to get in here. And now this boat doesn't have the cover or anything else on it right now. So it's as light as it's possibly ever going to be. Yeah, that's really not that bad. I really try my best not to drag my boats on concrete. It's just a good idea not to do that. Kind of gives them a little bit more life. So it fits pretty well in the truck bed, actually. I was anticipating it being a little narrower, but this works great. Okay, so there we go. There's the boat in the bed of the truck. I don't really know which one's gonna be better, loading it front first or back first. I know if it's back first, then um, I have a spot to just hook the motor on and drive down the road, because I could strap it down. I mean, there might be some room back in there to store the motor when we put it on there, but I think maybe loading this way might work best. And then I can just kind of drag it off when I get to the wherever I'm going, just pull it out right into the water. My little short bed, I think I got like the five and a half foot bed, but it fits pretty good. I mean, it's not sticking out too far, not too bad. Uh, only a foot longer than my kayak, so really not too bad. I got Cora back here with me. She's gonna be hanging out with us today. I don't know how long we'll be out there. I'm just kind of wanting to test this thing out, see what it's capable of. So we're gonna go hit the lake, launch the boat, and give it a first try. Let's get this sucker in the water and see how it does. All right, we got a little cushion here. I don't want to get my new seat dirty quite yet. Got the life jacket. Now all I need to do is move the truck out of the way a little bit and grab the pooch. I've got Cora on lead today just because I don't, hey, heal. I don't know if she's gonna be squirrely or not or what she's gonna do. So we're gonna just play it safe and keep her on lead today. Load up. Load up. Good. Hopefully we can get this boat moving without having to get in the water too far. All right. See how we do here. First impressions, this thing glides, man. And you're able to stand up and paddle, which is really nice. I could do it in my kayak, but it's a lot easier. I'm standing way in the back here. It just seems very, very, very easy to just stand here paddle i am noticing it is kind of tricky to keep it going straight maybe if i step forward a little bit it would make a difference but yeah man this thing is just it's gliding 
it's really stable. Like, it just doesn't seem like it's very tippy, which is good because it's, it's very wide. Now I'm just kind of sitting on the very, very, very back. And uh, maybe that's not the move. Come up here with the pooch. It does seem to wiggle a lot more than my kayak. Oh wow, now it turns really easy sitting on this pole here where uh, the doors attach. So got a little bit more center of gravity. Now it's tracking good. We're off to the races. This is like the biggest kayak I've ever used. And I think it's sweet. What do you think, buddy? Huh? You like the new boat? Think this will work for us? Sure hope so. Yeah, you want to go swimming. I know it. I know it. It seems like it's working really well so far. I like how it's tracking. I like how stable it is. It is just a hair wobblier than my kayak. Maybe it's because I got Cora in here and she's just trying to drink the water or try to go swimming. I don't really know. So comparing this to the kayak, it's definitely a little bit different. It's not quite as kayaky is the best term I've got for it. It's definitely a lot wider than any kayak I've been in. It seems to draft much shallower than a kayak does. So you don't have as much boat underneath the water. It's kind of just like it sits right on top of the water, but it paddles really well. It paddles better than I personally expected it would, which is fantastic because that is one of the main reasons why I got this thing. It's so then I have the option to use a motor and I also have the option to paddle it. So that opens up a lot of possibilities in the future for this boat. I think Cora likes the boat as well. And we've got plenty of room for activities in here. We've got lots of room for decoys. I mean, just as much, if not more room for decoys than I would in the kayak. So that's awesome. And this past season, I started thinking about it. And this past season, I really didn't pack a lot of decoys with me so that might hold true this year where i'm only bringing you know eight to ten decoys but you know i think this definitely has the capability to bring five to six dozen for sure so that's a big upside from the kayak but overall it works really well it floats good it tracks pretty well now that i'm kind of sitting more towards the middle i'm really excited to see this thing with the motor on there and give that a go but we'll have to wait until we get the transom in to do that so i've got the same paddle here that i use on my kayak you, i don't know if you guys can see this but it just like glides like i can turn this thing so sharp like my kayak no freaking way i could have done that um it just i think it's because it's got that kind of sit you're thirsty i think it's because there's not like any kind of stuff on the bottom like on my kayak it's like a double u design where the water can come up and it's got like a little bit of a keel on the bottom this is just straight up just pretty much flat on the bottom but if you stop you do kind of do one of these things where you, you turn here's another thing i'm seeing and feeling uh this bar back here where the doors attach and i figured i could sit on it it's kind of hurting my butt it's a great place to sit, but it's just not very wide. I think I might end up doing kind of like what I did with the final attack and banking, making a wooden seat to sit on for paddling. Or I guess I could try this. I could kneel like I did in my kayak, but that just kind of takes up a little bit more room than if I was just to sit on top. I'd be able to fit some stuff underneath me. And my dog is wanting to go swimming very badly. Yeah, we're in maybe four inches of water and we're touching the bottom here. This thing goes shallow, that's for dang sure. I think it honestly goes, I mean, granted it's not fully loaded. Oh shoot, I got water over my boot. Oh well. Well guys, there we go. That is the on the water test of the new Mo Marsh. And I'm very, very, very excited to see this boat in action this fall. But we've got to start getting it ready. We've got it all put together out of the box, but now it's time for the fun to begin. So it handles really well in the water. 
it works really well. It's got a lot more room than the kayak. It's easy, easy to load in the truck bed. And uh, the cover's all put together, so it's all ready to go. So now we get to work on the really fun stuff, which is the modifications that either I've thought of or you guys dropped down in the comments. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.